Welcome to Waking Moments with Seth. I'm not sure what he's going to talk about today, but it should be interesting. He tries to speak on topics germane to what's going on in the world uh, now. So, let's see what he's got in store for us here. It'll take me a few seconds to get him, and then he will provide the information. He's already coming in a little. now. Correct. We always begin now in this current moment. Mm. This moment. Uh, now. Mm. What does this mean now? Uh, from my perspective, um, it is a moment uh, that humanity shares, this current moment, um, the timeless moment, we sometimes call it, the eternal now moment, you see. That's where we are, and this is also where we invite you to spend some time with us and appreciate this moment as you do, as you perhaps uh, surrender a bit, uh, go within, perhaps mm, achieve a light trance state, as we call it. Mm. This focus on the current moment creates something quite powerful, I think, a moment point um, to distinguish it from the everyday moment that you entertain throughout your waking reality. This moment is special because you're focusing on it and you're creating a moment point, something unique mm. uh, for a purpose. I suggest that uh, your focus now can create a powerful entryway, portal, if you will, into the unknown reality. I've used the term unknown reality for several decades. What do I mean by it? The unknown reality includes what we call your reincarnational lives, past lives, you see. It also includes your current lives. Your current lives, where you are living more than one life currently, in this current time frame, you say, and future lives. The unknown reality includes um, probable realities, uh, realities from which you pick and choose what you're going to focus on to create your personal reality, uh, your personal reality field, your identity, you see. Uh, this unknown reality also includes uh, all of the creations of consciousness. Sometimes we call this uh, evolutionary consciousness, 
uh, more often we call it all that is um, within which you um, are privileged to understand to comprehend um, what's going on here in this moment. Uh, the ancient wisdom, we call it. The truth with a capital T, we call it, you say. Uh, you may make up your own words for what you are feeling uh, in this moment of introspection. Mm. As you do, you may find that you are being uh, prompted uh, to explore ideas, imagery, circular thoughts within your uh, mental landscape. <clears throat> Where are these promptings coming from? Oh, I should call such and such. Uh, an idea that has positive emotion attached to it. It's almost as though you're predicting that if you call this person, something positive will happen. Hmm. Intuition, you see. This focus on the moment point. Um, It's a beginning step in your awakening. And this show is about awakening. Let us discuss what perhaps you are awakening to. The truth of your personal reality, primarily. The truth of your collective realities, <clears throat> the political reality, the political world. Many of you are exploring that in recent episodes we've talked about the idea that everything you know is wrong. Uh, Perhaps a better way to put it. Uh, what you see as a bedrock reality <clears throat> is simply uh, space. Uh, it is often the opposite of what you believe it to be. So some of you are exploring this political world and seeing what's really going on here. Mm. Some of you are exploring uh, reasons for being on the planet. Why are you here? What is your reason? Um, what is your path? Are you on the right path? Who is prompting and who is providing uh, things to think about? <clears throat> who is that? Now, as you explore this moment point, you will be distracted um, by inconsequential matters. Usually it's the ego that wants to show you something. Oh, look at this here. Focus on this rather than uh, the truth, rather than on something, mm. some revelation mm. of the personal or collective worlds. And so you do. Um, but then you just let that go and you go back to this focus on the eternal moment 
and pick up where you left off. So I'm bringing you a bit deeper here for this exploration. Um, and induction, you see. Yes, you are awakening at this time. You are awakening to your innate uh, wisdom, your truth. Uh, <clears throat> it is specific to the individual, uh, and you uh, appreciate it in your own way through your belief system. And then you identify that as your truth. Mm. Now, we often get the question here, uh, then why um, are there different um, kinds of truths in the world today? Why are there, in fact, uh, opposites. Why can one group, let's say, identify themselves as um, keepers of the truth and another group identify themselves as keepers of the truth? And when you examine what they're talking about, you see that they are opposites. Um, how does that work? Uh, let me talk about that. The ego will show you um, interesting aspects about your world and identify it as truth. Um, that's where these collectives, I think, come in. Uh, it's a collective, egotistical view uh, of the world and has uh, not much of what we call truth to it. Truth with a capital T. Uh, more often than not, if there's an adversarial aspect to it, in which you are competing with other groups, uh, it's not truth. This is my perspective, you see. How do you identify truth with a capital T? It has a loving aspect to it. It has ecstasy attached to it, meaning you feel good just by thinking about it. Mm. Very easy to tell the truth. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, I think, and trust that this has been an inspirational moment for you, <laughs> this deep moment point. And we will speak again at another time.